Hello everyone, welcome to session one of LTech 623 Digital Video Design. My name is Dan Hoffman and I'll be your instructor this semester. My background is in instructional technology and media and I've been involved in the field of education for many years. In fact, I've had the privilege of working with learners at every conceivable level from pre-K all the way to graduate school. Outside of teaching, my specialty is designing and researching digital learning environments. I've been involved with lots of projects that explore various aspects of teaching and learning, many of which have used video in different capacities to improve or expand the educational experience. So now that you know a little bit more about me, let's talk about the course. What's digital video design all about? Well, as the name suggests, it's a course about video, and more specifically, it's about how video can be designed and implemented to support teaching and learning. For example, we'll be learning about the process of video production, as well as some of the dimensions of educational videos, such as production style, visual aesthetics, and production value. Along the way, we'll learn technical concepts related to lighting, camera angles and movement, and capturing high quality audio. We'll also be learning about the attributes of educational videos and the difference between content, media, and pedagogical expertise, all of which are required to produce high quality instructional videos. In short, it's a fun interdisciplinary class all about video. By the end of the semester, you should be able to do the following. Understand, analyze, and evaluate how people learn with, from, and through video. Analyze and evaluate the dimensions of educational video, including production style, visual aesthetics, and production value. And finally, create original digital videos for instructional purposes using an intentional design process. Now to do all of this, things are going to be pretty hands-on, which we can see if we look at the course schedule. As you can see here, the semester is roughly divided into quarters. We'll spend the first five weeks exploring some of the fundamental concepts of producing digital video. With that experience under our belt, starting around week six, we'll begin our first video production projects. These video projects will follow a four-week cycle, from planning and pre-production, to production, to post-production, and then finally, reflection and feedback. That'll get us to about the halfway point of the semester. And from there, we'll spend the rest of the time completing two more video production projects. Next, I want to touch briefly upon some of the tools we'll be using this semester. I know some of you are anxious about how technical this class will be. Not to worry. It's okay if you're an absolute beginner or someone who is more advanced. The platform that I'll be teaching on is called WeVideo. This is an online video editing platform with a lot of specific features for education. As part of this class, everyone is going to get a one-year subscription to WeVideo. Now, we'll get into the details of all of that next week. For now, just know that you'll have video editing software, and if you happen to be someone who has their own video editing software that you prefer to use, such as Final Cut or Camtasia, that's totally fine. You can use that in this course. All of the concepts and principles we'll be studying will apply to any one of those video editing packages. So now I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about the basics of the course. If you've taken a class with me before, you'll know most of this information. But if this is your first class with me, here's some important info to help you get oriented to this asynchronous class. As you all know, if you're watching this video, our learning management system for the semester is going to be Canvas. And when you first log in, there's some important information and links that I want you to be familiar with. In the overview module, you'll see three things, the course syllabus, the office hour signup sheet, and the link to my virtual office. If you click on the course syllabus, that's a Google document that you can view. And I encourage everyone in the first week to read through that document carefully. The next link to the office hour sign-up sheet also takes you to a Google document, but this one you can edit. This is the space where you will sign up for office hours if and when you want to meet with me. As you can see, there are already dates listed. Typically, I hold 20-minute one-on-one meetings with students, and all you need to do to sign up is put your name down for the time that you want to meet. It's super simple. Another important thing is to update your Canvas profile. Here's an example of a quality student profile from a previous class. 
I like this profile because Karen included some helpful information. First, you'll notice she has a profile picture, as well as her degree level, her degree program and year, and then there's a little bit of additional information about her background. So please make sure your profile is up to date, something like this example. This helps me, as well as your classmates, get to know who's in the course and some of the previous experience you're bringing to the table. Now let's talk a little bit about the typical weekly structure of LTEC 623. Each module that will be released every week will look something like this. Now this is just a sample, but let's go through it section by section. The first section is the presentation section, and in most weeks I will release a dedicated video like this one, which you're responsible for viewing. In the next section, you'll see the readings for this particular week. Now pay attention because there may be more than one reading, and as you can see here, it says reading one and reading two, and they both happen to be required. Now sometimes the readings will be optional, so you might want to save those and check them out later if you have time. And finally, there's the assignment section of each module. Now the assignment section will often have a number of different things that you need to be working on. It's important to pay attention because different assignments may have different due dates, which you can see right underneath the title of each assignment. So pay attention to those details. Okay, everyone, I'm really looking forward to working with you. I hope this was a helpful introduction to LTEC 623. Feel free to email me with any questions. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.